There is a... You know what? There is a platform over here. I guess I'll show you what the platforms are. I don't know if there's much we can do here. But since they put it in the first square, I imagine that we can do something here. You'll see a bunch of different platforms all over the Great Sea. And most of them have enemies you can defeat by heading up this ladder over here. And we can play with the camera. Climb, Link, climb! Climb that ladder with your skinny ass arms! Almost there. Can you see the sun setting or is it just not moving? Die! Die! Oh, he didn't go off the side like his brother did. Now he will. Come on. Got it angled perfectly. There you go. Okay, so we just brutally slaughtered those two enemies, and what do we get? They were just... I mean, for all we know, all they were doing was just gazing off into the sunset with their... telescopes. We can see a bunch of different islands from here, too. I mean, this gives us a great perspective of everything here. That's Fire Island. Fire Mountain. There's Dragon Roost. Uh, that might be Seven Star. But I'm not going to show off my... 20 rupees. I'm not even going to be able to spend these damn things. In fact, I'm going to get so many rupees when we get to Dragon Roost that I don't know what to do with these. I have too many rupees, damn it. I can't even spend them on Beetle's ship, actually. Since all we have are bait right now, let's see if there's anything else he has for us. Because as we collect different items, he will stock up on them as well, and I don't think he has more than bait right now. Yeah, that's all he has. Get out of the ship. Is there anything else I can do to stall for time? I could talk to Coral, but I don't feel like it. So let's keep going to Dragon Roost. Is that a red rupee on a... Damn it, I'm almost maxed out right now. No, 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 I'm not wasting any more time. I want to get to Dragon Roost before nighttime so I can hear the awesome music. Actually, where is this sun? And look, a flock of seagulls are following us too. Isn't that cute? They know we're going to save our sister. And that's why the seagulls are following us. It's so touching. That part of the game really touched me, and the unfortunate thing is whenever you cross over into a different square, the seagulls all go away, and that makes me sad. But as we draw closer to Dragon Roost, we'll notice that there's a strange dark cloud hovering over the island. What could it be? There, on the horizon. That is our destination, you giant Dragon Roost Island. The island with the absolute best music in the game. Although the general Great Sea music kind of rivals it, I guess. So, welcome to Dragon Roost Island. High atop the island lives the spirit of the skies, a dragon named Baloo. You must go see this dragon and request from him Jewel Halton's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot which just a moment. This is the one where I said, it's the return of Seth that was used long ago when the people played music in fact the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I don't know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Uh, it's a stick. First conduct in three, four time. Don't touch the joystick, just tilt the C-stick. So in order to play this, it's a little different than the ocarina. Just let the metronome do its thing and point the C-stick in the direction that you want to play the note. So he's going to tell us how to conduct in 4-4 time, which is by holding the joystick to the left, and it's the same thing except a little bit faster. And we're not going to have to worry about this for about a month, I would say. So, that is all. And thankfully, he's not going to make us go through 6-4 time, which is the same thing, except doing it to the right. And now we have the Wind Waker. We could actually go and get our first song right now if we wanted to, but I... You know what? That's usually what I go to do. But it kind of screws up a little bit of the dialogue when we finish the first dungeon here, and technically you're not supposed to have it, so I'm not going to bother getting it. But... 
Bomb rock. They're not bomb rocks. These are bomb... Where do I get the idea for bomb rocks? They have bomb rocks and Pikmin. Why do I have Pikmin on the mind? I have not played Pikmin in forever. But these are bomb flowers, and they explode stuff, and I don't want to pick up any more rupees. I'll just leave that sitting there, because once I pick it up, I won't be able to use it again. And I don't believe these rocks come back, so I'll just blow them all up while I can. And it's very nice that these don't take forever to explode or to grow back either, like they did in the N64 games, because those took an exceptionally long time, and I was not very happy about that. That sign says the bridge is out. I didn't know that. I need the sign... <sighs> this is the one bomb rock I never... I'm calling bomb rocks again. Blow up the rock! Thank you. No! Oh, I maxed out already. So this is a pretty epic view, don't you think? Sidling all the way across here where the bridge broke down there. We are so close to our first dungeon. We're almost ready to begin the game. R button to drop. Not the A button. Now let's see. I want to hit down here just to make sure we free up a path. That will allow us to get back up here without having to go through all the crap that we just did. So up here, and when we head through this little cavern, we will see our old friend from Outset. The Postman. Quill. Unigiant? Unigiant, is that you? It is, I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... No, I, I couldn't do anything. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Human Giant. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us read were very concerned. I'm certain that the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our area. Ear? Ear? It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Human Giant. I'll be waiting. So he'll fly on up ahead, which was totally not necessary for him to do because the door was right there. I don't know why you have to show off the fact that he could fly. We know you could fly and we know we can't fly yet. Spoilers. Well, it's not quite flying. But anyway, let's head inside and talk to the chieftain. So this is the post office. Essentially where all of the Rito live. Well, if you discovered the cause of the Great Blue's anger, Ah, so you are Unigiant, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe profoundly connect to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit Velu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Velu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Velu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As a chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Sure, dude. You're gonna be extinct if I don't say yes. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Unichine with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Unichine is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age or in his wings, yet he is weak in some ways and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? 
Will you share some of your courage with my son? Dude, always. Anything for you guys. I thank you. We shall do our very best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give to my son through you. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. I hope none of you guys were completely turned off by that voice acting. I don't know how it sounded. And Quill will give us... Our own delivery bag, so we can play Delivery Boy whenever we want. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow us to fly like him, but you know what? Anything to look up to Quill or to imitate him is awesome enough. So we've just been given a mission to help Prince Kamali overcome his... Cowardice? I suppose? It's not really cowardice, though. I mean, the, you have a raging dragon on top of the island. I'd be a little scared, too. I'm also scared of voice acting for her. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange-shaped hat. You're the new giant, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit of Lou. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, take this from the chieftain. Unigine, he wants you to give this to Prince Kamali directly. Here you go! And there's our father's letter. We get to use our post bag immediately. I don't know why we need a delivery bag to keep a letter. I could just stick it in my pocket. The room way in the back on the first floor of Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, uh, listen. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cabin later? Please? Okay, I'll go. Fine. But first I have to give the letter to Prince Kamali because I promised the chieftain. And before I forget, let's equip it using our new post bag. Delivery bag, whatever. This door always frightens me. Scary door! Alright, let's go inside the scary door. The scary door. That's the name of the twi Twilight Zone of Futurama, isn't it? The scary door. So nice to have Futurama back. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in that. Comedy Central's been showing a couple of new episodes now. A letter? From my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get the scale from Vuglu. You're in this letter, too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Vuglu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a skill from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm him down? Psh, that's a big, flat lie. It's easy to say anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get the blue, then I'll listen to anything you say. So, I can't use my sword to convince you? Oh, the, the B button is dim. I swear, if that B button was dim, I would have sliced your ass off right then and there. But I suppose they disable it for a reason. Okay. 